And so I was really looking for things then. I was, I mean, I would, I, would, I would hear songs and I would think spiritual things. I would see the trees and I would see the clouds and I would think there's got to be something more here to this. I mean, I, the, I was being awakened in a big way. And so I went, <clears throat> I went down to visit an uncle of mine who was a deacon in this church that I uh, had joined and was baptized in years before. Um, Good Home Primitive Baptist Church in Axton, Virginia. Yeah, Axton, Virginia. Find it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Google has it. Google will be like, hold on a minute, searching, you know, <laughs> calculating. So I went to see my uncle because I liked my uncle at the time. We had a good relationship, and he was a deacon there. So I just went to church with him. And I'm sitting in the back like I did when I was a kid, and I'm not paying any attention to the preacher. No, no attention to the preacher at all. And I'm under such tremendous stress. Dana's pregnant with Maddie, our first child. We want her to be able to quit work. And so I have all this pressure on my mind. And I'm sitting there in the back of this church. And here's Mr. Atheist. Mr. Jesus is not the, really God. He's just a good guy. Mr. Better than all that religion stuff. And I'm sitting there. And I'm so stressed out, I spot a Bible in the back of the pew. And I think to myself, I wonder if there's anything in there about stress. So I pulled the Bible out, and I opened it up to the back, and I looked up. I don't think the word stress was in there, but anxious or anxiety was in there somewhere. And when I opened it to the... I don't remember what verse it was. But when I opened the book, it was like in the movies, when the light shines in your face and everything around you gets quiet and it's as if you just disappeared into somewhere else. And I started reading the book and it grabbed me like, like, like getting hit by a train. It pulled me in and I started reading and I was like, whatever I'm looking for, I just found it. And I kept reading. I didn't listen to anybody talk. I kept reading. And when I got to my uncle's house that day, I said, do you have a Bible that I could have? Because I've got to, have, I've got to read the book. And so he says, sure. And he gives me a King James Bible, and I take it home. And I read, and I read, and I read. And then I get to the words in red. Do you all know what the words in red are? In many old Bibles, the words of Christ are in red. And I didn't find it right away. It took me a little while to get there. And I remember. The Bible talks about God, the God of the Bible, as being a living God. He is alive. And when I read the words in red, I met someone I mean, he was as real as anyone I had ever. I couldn't believe the things that he said. I was dumbfounded at how wise he was, at how courageous he was. I could not understand this 30-year-old man saying these things. I was floored by Jesus the Christ. And that was 25 years ago. And he has absolutely, it's still the same. Nothing has changed. He, he got a hold of me so powerfully. It was like a Paul-like experience. And my life turned on a dime so fast that my family and my friends and Dana's family, they didn't understand it. They all were like, who is this guy? You, we don't know you. And I said, I don't know what to tell you. I... I I found what I was looking for. He has transformed my life. And I think it's significant for me as I look upon my ministry. I think it's significant for me that I was not converted by a preacher. I was not converted by an evangelist. And those are all God's instruments. Don't misunderstand me. I was converted in a church with a preacher by this. This converted me. This changed me, and I cannot get enough of it.
Hi there, my name is Wes Moore, and I'd like to share with you a spiritual power fact. You do not have to have a powerful conversion to be given a powerful ministry. I, like Paul, had a powerful conversion experience. But this should not make you think only those with powerful experiences can do powerful things. The fact is, every conversion is a miracle, full of God's power and glory. And any believer can have a life-changing ministry if he or she is devoted to Christ and consistently sacrifices to move his kingdom forward. If you enjoyed this short clip about my conversion, you may also enjoy the full video here. You can learn more about me, including the books I write, by checking out my website in the description. Also, please subscribe to my channel for a new video clip every Friday and a full-length video the first Tuesday of every month. Thanks for watching.